1. Disinfect your safety pin, by boiling in water for a few minutes. Remember, whatever you put your pin down on, will contaminate it, as will your fingers, so be careful. 2. Numb the part of your ear, you wish to pierce with ice cubes. This will be the most painful part, of the, the piercing process. Hold the ice to your ear for as long as you can stand, or at least say, 3-5 minutes. 3. Fold your towel over a few times, then brace the part of your ear. You are piercing with this so you won't stab yourself. 4. Pat your ear and pin down with your disinfectant or salted water. 5. Push the safety pin through your ear and close. The hardest thing here is keeping the pin straight, so you get a straight hole. It's easy to end up with a piercing at an angle, so be careful. If you are piercing your up rear or through cartilage, be prepared for a weird crunching sound as you break through. Wonky piercings are the most common problem from DIY jobs, so really, be careful. If you don't have the stomach to do it properly, take it out and get a professional to do it for you. You don't want weird sideways holes through your ears. Note in the picture the model has holes that slant upwards. Also you will want the closure of the pin to be at the front of the ear, since this will be the easiest part of the pin, for bacteria to collect and you will want to keep an eye on it. 6. Dab again with your disinfectant or salted water. Remember not to double dip if using a container. 7. Leave to heal for at least a week, treating it as you would any new piercing. Leave it alone, only twisting it once or twice a day and disinfecting it. Don't touch it with your garrotty fingers all the time. 8. When you remove the pin the hole will be of a similar gauge to most hearing posts, as safety pins are thicker than needles. This means if you put a stud or sleeper in straight away, or after it has healed, it will be a lot less painful, than if you DIY pierce with a needle. Needle.